Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu says the passing of the broadcast amendment is necessary to cap the limitless clauses. Here is Neil Williams once more. The Prime Minister, as a special guest on VOG's Let's Gaff radio program, defended the government's move to amend the Broadcasting Act of 2011. The uh, law as it as is, or as was said, that you shall give a certain percentage of, of broadcast time to the government for public service broadcasting, what they used to call devote, development support communication. And I said, no, you don't need to have a certain percentage. You have to cap it. Say for sure, I'm a lawyer. One of the first things you learn in law school as a lawyer, that a law must not be uncertain. Any, any elementary student of the law would know that. And I hold the former attorneys general accountable for a law that was vague, amorphous, and open-ended. Prime Minister Nagamutu added that the bill seeks to bring control to the local broadcasting landscape. Because of the nature of broadcasting, that it enters your sitting room without you having the ability to control it, you have to be able to do content control. You can't have in your sitting room, Judy, your child sitting with you there and it has pornogra pornography being shown. No, you have to, some law has to be made to ensure that pornography is not acceptable as part of your broadcasting right. On Friday, August 4th, 2017, the Broadcasting Amendment Bill was passed in the National Assembly. It has to be assented to by President Granger before becoming a law. The question is that uh, do we need a modern law to govern the broadcasting landscape in Guyana? And no one would say no. You absolutely need to have that. Zanil Williams for Info Hub.